Hello? Oh, yeah, now it's starting. Okay. What's up, guys? How are you guys all doing? Kumar Unlimited here. Back with another thing. We're going to play some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> with me, I have my kid brother. Well. What? I'm not considered a man to you. Oh, you're barely, not, you're not even 18 years yet. Okay, considered. What about playing in Spanish? <laughs> if there's any Spanish viewers watching, hello, hola, como estas? Whenever you see now, save me on the screen. Oh yeah, so one of the tips I saw is that you're going to turn off auto-save. Because apparently it's not something you want to... Especially if you catch a shiny, like, you want to save manually in this game, so we'll try to do that. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Probably this one. Oh, they're pretty cute, not gonna lie. Well, they're always cute, but so. What is thy name? As always, guys, we're gonna go with my name that I have on Twitch. Kuma. Kuma, soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures called, that humans call, Pokemon. Oh, they're gonna sit on the sofa with me. Yeah, and then like just tell me like, on the computer, show me like when did someone chats. Kuma, seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Finish the Pokedex, just kept twisting hypothesis. Did someone say hello? Uh, King Pen Roll, one, two, three, what is up? Hello. Whoa, I have a white shirt, guys. Uh, I have a phone. <laughs> Is that Arceus? Yeah, I'm just kidding, everyone knows what Arceus looks like. Oh my god, he upgraded my Samsung Galaxy S3, guys! What will I ever do? Oh, I accidentally went into the radio thing. Excuse me for a second, guys, while I finish this. Wake up! <laughs> oh, dude, what? No, no, no. Do wake up, don't want you. Are you alive, my boy? <laughs> you aren't supposed to hear that guy, sorry. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow aid your memory? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You would have to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. <laughs> I mean, I barely know you do. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. 
So smooth, guys. So smooth. So you don't know anyone here. And you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I am a trainer. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Splash, splash. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I had just caught up these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Did you unplug something? Okay, be careful in there. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Thought you fell from the sky. Seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Kumar. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lamington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon, so these three here. Hi. Ah, oh, bless and bother, my darling Pokemon. When must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me around them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Oh, okay, I didn't have time to read that. Right, so first... How do I open up the settings? Oh, that, that saves my progress. I can dash. Yo, I'm so fast, boy. Look at me run. Okay. What is that? There's a glowing, beeping object over there. What is that? I shall investigate. You found something that resembles a phone. That looks like the most uncomfortable phone I've ever seen. It looks like a dagger, not gonna lie. It's probably your phone. <laughs> but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. I need to get comfortable. Are you listening in on the... On the, the video. Yeah, this is Legends Arceus, Brady. Move the camera. Huh? On the computer. Near the mouse. Heard a lot about this game, considering, like, let's see if it's fun. How people say. Sigh. Alas. Yet another miss. So sad. <laughs> I'm glad you come to the rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best. At this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. I mean, we all know what we're going to catch, right? Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Apparently. Yeah, I just got back from work, so sadly I wasn't able to, like, start. Although tomorrow, I'm going to get a good start on it. Crew! There's a Pokemon we're going to catch. One of my favorites. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whatever is surprised or irate. Forgive me for my Pokemon noises. I am not the very best at this. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Splash, splash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon and catch them. I have 50 Pokeballs. 
50 Pokeballs. What? <laughs> oh, that's, that's gonna be short-lived. Why 50? Uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a reason to mention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Yeah, you suck. Pokemon can be caught with throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR. That's right trigger, right? Yeah. And take aim. Wait, you hold down the right trigger to take aim? That's weird. You can keep moving around as you do. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense then. So you use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release a your button, throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you're ready to Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Okay. It's as simple as that, huh? Well, I caught the Oshawa. It seems you quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Kumar. Jolly, useful skill to have around here. Hello, anime nerd. How are you doing? Any two of my do only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yeah, I wonder why. Why would I fear that which I will catch? Oh, you just turned around. Wow. Get in the ball. Okay. I can hardly believe it, Kumar. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. So, in this, like, it says, this is pastime, right? Supposedly. No, where's the Simuco? Oh, it's over here somewhere, right? How do I sneak? Ah. Uh. What? Bro. Oh man, I'm so sad. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Where, where, oh, I see him. We'll hide behind this rock. We'll never see it coming. And now we'll beat it up right here as it comes out. Okay. Yeah, I heard like I heard about that. I thought it was a pretty cool concept to be honest. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as like if they knew you'd come falling. <laughs> but I must say, Kumar, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Perhaps you're a savior. Let me show you my Arceus phone. Seek out all Pokemon? That object is an Arc phone, you say? What the hell is that? What an odd device! Could it be guiding you somehow? So you're telling me this is just a box and you just listen to it? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. To compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented in Amnite, and not may have many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. You're going to seek out every Pokemon and minus to have all those Pokemon caught. 
a situation right for teamwork. Don't you agree? Come on now. What do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like something evil. Come on now. What do you say? Oh, okay. You're not letting me. I guess I'll, I'll fall into peer pressure. Why not? Then whoever in from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. Come on, boy. First thing first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and fight you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. You know, take care of you. Follow me then. Onward to... Jubilife? Is that how it's pronounced? Jubilife Village. Oh, that looks ominous. <laughs> oh, we just, okay. We just skipped it. Makes sense, I guess. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was such a great assistance to me and my Pokemon. So I hope you forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. For a bit? I thought I was living here, guys, dude. You say it's only temporary? What? I need a home. I'm only 14? 15? He looks older than 10, so. Hmm. This way, if you please. Let's talk to everybody. No, I'm just kidding. The Galaxy Expedition Team. What is that? The road we're on now is known as the Locals. Oh, it's still the Professor. Canela Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's not much to do yet and not many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall. Hello. Does the professor know that child? Wow. Okay, just say it right in front of me. Not supposed to talk to strangers? Oh, botheration. 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 I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? A canteen. It just passed this bridge here, then to the left. The wallflower, it's called. Ooh, look at him run, dude. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. I have Google Maps. What? Oh. Alright, I'll talk a little bit slower. Use the negative button to view the map on your phone. You can just hold the map for guidance and exchange quest. Guidance markers. Okay, that's very basic. Um, in an unfamiliar land, head to the wallflower. It's over there. Let's go explore first, though. I guess I, can, I guess it's probably the tutorial section, isn't it? So I guess I have to. This is a dude, right? <laughs> yeah, he has to be. He's a mustache. <clears throat> well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move up. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mince meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps you met Professor Lamington? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. We should a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder. Shock not... Thunder Shock. Not long ago, and I had to take to my bed. You know, that's a good distinction. If it was Thunder, that would probably hurt a lot more than Thundershock. 
But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! I'll lower my voice too, just... But everything will be quite alright now. Kumar, here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Oh wait, that's probably the Captain. Captain Celine? Assuming the individual how can... Oh, sorry. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the Captain of the Galaxy's Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Or I guess she kind of has like a tone where like it'd be a little bit lower. But I don't think I can manage that. Oh, so catch everything then? Okay. Uh, signing this. Uh, Professor Leviton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. I'm clearly a slave now. Oh, you look a bit. I knew I, was, I knew I was older than 10. You look to be about 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho ho! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, who would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Also, all of you are annoying. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal in some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Man, I look so out of place. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. <laughs> Professor Lamington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. Wow. You can't be serious. Oh. <laughs> I don't like his hat. <laughs> just, it's out of place here. I just don't like it at all. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hizu region. That there are, in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. As job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things I can do. I always fear they come into my bed at night and that is why I wet the bed. But that's where Kumar will come in. <laughs> he successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the galaxy is capable of a feat such as that. Wow. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Okay, Benny, Benny. <clears throat> Does the survey cars really have a free way to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start the rain in the good Captain Stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Kuma. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy team, we'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if I said, even if said members fell out of the sky. So far, I find it interesting. The controls are kind of weird, but still, I'll get used to them. 
That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. I kind of wish it was voice lines though. It feels like this should be a game where they should be voice acting. Just saying. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Kumar has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, Malay. I have complete confidence in Kumar's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Kumar, was it? For tonight, at least, I will provide you with a place to sleep. You may also, you may use our quarters there. I get my own house. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you to tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your death. Wow. They actually said that in a Pokemon game, guys. What is this? In the wilds. So I might die. Death is a possibility in this game, guys. I only have one life. Captain Selene is someone like who's he Hizu in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I bet you our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Like, <laughs> Yes, good night. Am I going to get a ninja costume too? A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. The Peril Clan? I assume you mean Pearl, unless like it's actually called the Peril Clan. Alright, let's go to bed, guys, unless I can talk. Hello, Mama. The captain of the survey corps, Silene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. What do you want? Now, who might you be, Choi? Haven't seen you here in the village before. I bet he's a fish merchant. He looks like a fish merchant. Edith, a new hairstyle means a fresh look, and a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. Alright, she gives haircuts. This has to be the costume. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hun. Where might they be from? Okay. I see outside. Let's go to my room. No, okay. <laughs> Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarters. Oh, cool. Uh, survey tips contain all sorts of information to read them at any time so we can see up on to help screen okay don't wish your toes to be forgotten and diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate saving your progress press up button to open the menu scroll with the to reach the save screen auto save scroll to the help screen okay so i press up on the thing to disable it then and cr survey tips Settings fast, regular, regular. We'll do five. Emotion sensitivity. Auto save disabled. HUD toggling disabled. Background music. You can raise it a little bit higher. Dynamic range. Why? Yeah, why not? Save and exit game controls. Oh, okay. It doesn't let me change them. Survey tips. I already know this stuff though. Oh, it's just the tutorial stuff. Okay. Rest until tomorrow morning. Yes. Anyway, guys, I really wish I could have played this game a lot earlier. Sadly, work. But. Hopefully, all goes well.
Well, that can't be good. <laughs> it's probably just a Pikachu, though. The next day. Good morning, Kuma. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's a day of your trial, so er, let's give it her all. Do I, do I get to change or anything? Go to Galaxy Team Headquarters to hear about the trial. Wait, what is this? Investigate? It's a paper lantern. It seems to be used all as its fuel. Change outfit. It's a full-length mirror. R5, behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Wow. Words to live by. A nice fire in the second hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Turn it down. Oh, that's how you sneak around. Okay. The chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Okay, let's go outside. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selene is waiting. Alright, I'm guessing this is just a tutorial section though, so... I don't think there's really much for me to do, because I'm still in town and I don't see any other Pokemon around here that I can throw balls at. The Survey Corps' offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they... They were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack. Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far a field. But the Medical Corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security- Oh, it's a man. <laughs> and even with his own partner, he took a beating from the wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial. Particularly trying. Wow. Captain Celine, Kumar is here. You may enter. Yeah, she definitely has the the semi macho but like still feminine voice. I can't pull it off though. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Now, I don't know what a Shinx is, but Starly is one of my other favorite Pokemons. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him if the professor wasn't exaggerating things he does. Is. Are you questioning my authority, Lieutenant? Yeah, I can tell it's long. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish- is that an ever? <laughs> if you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our survey court satchels to carry wherever you may need in the field. I'm wearing sandals. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I bet I came from Alola, not gonna lie. <laughs> That satchel doesn't exactly match her mode of dress. Akari. Uh, Akari. I expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Activate guide. Okay. Press the web button with some memory. Okay. There are two types missions request. Okay. Pardon, Kumar. Come in with me one moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lamington? Oh, no, no, it's the cat, isn't it? It's like the electric cat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the electric cat, if I remember right. In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Kumar absolutely must pass this trial. 
And as a professor of Pokemon, I got just a ticket to help accomplish that. Ooh. Ooh. Flash Flash! <laughs> Go on, Kumar. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village, and clearly we're going with Cyndaquil. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Hello. Woo. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Aw, look how cute it is, guys. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Why does Oshawott look so sad? <laughs> I can smile. It's just like pure sadness. Like, I didn't choose him. And then, like, the, the bird. Or... Yeah, the bird just like, meh. I don't care. Good show. I've tucked Syndicate back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it. It's yours. Oh, so those backpacks look impractical. <laughs> It's like a satchel, but like the other way, like how do you <laughs> reach? I just put it on my head. Okay. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out on the field. Cuckoo. Plash. They look as if they're cheering on their friends in the quill. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Kuma fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. <laughs> they don't seem happy, especially Oshawa. <laughs> By the way, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial. Am I getting more Pokeballs? I have 20 more Pokeballs, okay. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat. They work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trials. Turn left after you exit headquarters and head for the gate. Alright guys, let's go get ourselves killed. Can I change? Oh, I gotta go over there. What? That's where I came from, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. You want control? Okay. <laughs> Wait, can I pet him? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. And you look like you should belong in The Legend of Zelda. I'm Bolo of the Ginkgo Gink Guild. The go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Huizu. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. What do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Thought I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero and you'll probably die if your Pokemon dies. Oh shit, things just got serious. Let's go. A Togepi? Bro. <laughs> Alright. Battle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait, I can run around? Yo. Look at that. Let's go. Come on, man. What do you got? Oh, Jesus. I can actually get hurt. <laughs> Am 
Wait, that token is actually doing quite a bit of damage. Alright, we got it. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up for you. Woo! Leveled up, guys! New move. It's always good to have fun. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Uh, button level up if you want to change the move. Oh. Open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, select change moves option. Okay. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help you are two battles to recover from their little surprise. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and things. Five potions. 60 health? Wait, what? I thought Pokemon was only, like, potions only gave 20. So what is this thing? You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. Ah, so you're just looking to make yourself green. I see. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jub Life Village, make sure you choose a destination for your map and tell Rest the Grudgeman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. No, oh, that's very nice of them. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Alright. Your Kuma, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. <laughs> if not, trust me, I will not care. All right. All right, then. You wish to go to Feelands Camp? Yes. So this is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, oh, well, you see. Captain Selene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility to whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our, that's our uninspiring captain. But what help is that can you offer out there, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Well, thanks. Kumar's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. I guess he has optimism. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Ah, uh, you guys are just looking to get rid of responsibility for me, huh? Wow. No, I'm sure Kumar will be fine. Let's begin the trial. This would be a cool, like, comic thing to do. Hello. Come on by. Onward. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Ah, oh, it's actually pretty beautiful, not gonna lie. I thought it'd be a little bit more vibrant, but I mean... Can't really complain. And along comes a Bidoof. An unsuspecting Bidoof. The key is to aim carefully. Now that you seem to need my advice, I'm just sharing what I know. The zeal to focus on. Oh, okay, so you can hold the zeal. Besides, I was in bad. The technical brain has running for long. Okay. Bidoof has a metal disposition. That means it tends not to run away from people. So this will be easy. Oh, I gotta go to her. We'll throw him Pokeball. Okay. 
Wow. I'm such good at this game, guys. Wow. You caught a Vidoof! Well done! Time to find your next Pokemon. Catch a Starly, second Pokemon. Okay. I'm gonna explore it a bit, though. Oh, I'm not allowed. <laughs> okay. That sucks. Oh, I'm just catching them back to me. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Uh, if you're going to make it harder for a while, Pokemon, unless you pursue money against your eyes, keep it in the tall grass or crouch, it'll be even harder to spot. So basically, stay in grass. I got it. Where's my. Starly? Oh, it's over there. No, you don't suspect nothing. Wow. I started as caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I'm really tired of hearing these voices. Um. Okay. Since you're still new to this, here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Celine told us, have an item in the ready if you want to send out a Pokemon. Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but won't throw an item. Press X. The captains are really expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. Catch Bidoof. I already caught a Bidoof. Okay. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other arms, we'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We reach your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Throwing berries. Here, that's Shinx. Yeah, I was right. It was the electric cat. Shinx have an aggressive decision. Could you already tell that? I guess it's a cat. <laughs> I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. So don't let them catch you. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, they will be catch. Oh, I see. Okay. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catch an aggressive Pokemon. You got to battle. Once you're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them, try and catch them. But now you got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at near wild Pokemon you want to battle. I got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. You see the start battle against the wild Pokemon, start Pokeball against the own Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So press X to talk between Pokemon and items. Oh, man. I want Ember you. The quick attack should. Oh, how could we use two moves at its. Oh, okay. So that should be low enough, right? Yeah, let's use a Puck Ball. Alright. So, uh, you can still catch them the old fashioned way. It was kind of nice. You approach this Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift to Sky Drop to us. I mean, I did fall out of the Sky Lady. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious on why on earth you came falling from the sky like that, but for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. 
So am I allowed to catch more Pokemon then? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with fine colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Kumar. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a comrade photograph. You have a f cameras in this timeline? What? <laughs> with skills like yours, I suppose this is a foregone conclusion. Ooh, my phone stopped charging. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. How many viewers are we at, boys? Four. Alright. Now then, we best report to Captain Selene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? In time, we'll be able to send Pokemon you caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up the six Pokemon with you into the field in theory, though we never had anyone skilled enough to do so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come now, you two. Let's not do it, Captain Selene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selene will be very pleased. Yeah, let's just get this over with and head over there. When will I get new clothes, guys? I'm already bored of my dreads. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Ooh, she is scowling. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy. But you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Yay! Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. All right. Uh. Okay. So I gotta go back to my room to change then. Oh, no, it's over. Right, it's over here. I gotta talk to the mirror. Oh, wow, I look like a ninja. Kind of like it. Oh, I can change color. Okay, cool. I want to be... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Man, I look good. Like a green ninja. Look how well a Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. She might have. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Wow, a hat. <laughs> D does... Not present yourself to the commander. So what's the purpose of the hat? Does it like give me plus ten stats or something? I know it puts my charisma up to like twenty. Wow. Uh, oh, he's all the way at the top. Can I loot this area? Man. <laughs> G 
Jeez, man. That's a nice mustache. I have been waiting for you. <laughs> God, sorry. I am Kamado, commander of the Gox Expeditions team. Hmm. So you are Kumar. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> a simple yes or no will do. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Mortal combat. Okay. Huh. You got bigger. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Wait. Are we able to dodge in this game? Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your rival as a potent to disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of the Jubilee Lift Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Kumar. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Woo! First mission complete. Let's go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I hope you guys are having an amazing time as I am. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You began as a no star. Recruit them on our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move through the ranks. Indeed! You see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One Apricorn and one Dumble Stone. And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Wow. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Steve. Now... As the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make most make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. You'd think where we'd be if we wouldn't couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Let's go craft boys. Like this was Minecraft. Let's go. Will Dern earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm from the I'm from the local clover here. The professor asked if I that I ready you would change clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Hope you'll avail yourself of the village humble shops. Ooh, she's mad. This way to the craft works, Kumar. Let's go. You can use a workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Damn, that looks high class. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on Yoninas. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Uh, ba -ba 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 okay. Ah, uh, I guess I can craft just one. Wow. Such high quality Pokeball material. 
Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Oh, so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. On that note, here you are. I'll uh, be right back, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. BRB. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we are back. I got the Pokedex. And then this is actually a book, right? Uh, wow. It's an Oshawott, Rowlet, Cyndaquil, Togepi, Badoo, Starly, and Shinx. Thought there'd be more. <laughs> Obsidian. Oh, so it also has the stuff I can catch there. Okay, that's cool. I prepared this bomb just for you. Hope it aids you well in your aim to seek all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field lands camp whenever you are ready, my good Kumar. Alright. So this is where the meat and stuff come from, right? You gotta fill out the Pokedex, right? Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the field lands camp, we would would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so you want a request? Sure. I take requests. <laughs> hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Nope. <laughs> well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Lamington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Evolution. Yeah, okay. And so I decided to want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolved. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, would you let me have it? Sure. There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. Wurmple can evolve. Okay. And you said you had stuff for me to buy, right? Oh, I got a parcel. A Pikachu? Oh, yeah, because let's go Pikachu. Ah, uh, no, I don't have that game, sadly. But I do have the Pikachu stuff, so. <laughs> That's kind of nice. We could go try it on. What do you do? 
Hair styling? I can change my hair. Messy ponytail. Yo, that actually is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Shorn. Curled. Braids. Uh, I'm probably more curled, to be honest. Chestnut. Oh, the color. Okay. Ah, I can say black. Oh. Slate. Oh, it's changing my eyebrows. Okay. I can say black, too. Is there more that I can unlock? Or... Yeah, I'm probably curled. That, that's honestly my real life here, so yeah. Lovely, I'll have you styled and ready in no time. Ooh, wow. That's such a magical talent to have me grow my hair. There, all done now. What? You look simply wonderful. Do I still have to wear the hat? I'll leave it off. <laughs> All right, that's cool. I'll go try on the Pikachu thing real quick since I'm here. Uh, oh, I got the Eevee one too. It's, it's really big. <laughs> yeah, like it's really, really big. <laughs> I don't think it's meant for my hair. <laughs> yeah, okay, never mind. I guess I won't. Alright, let's go. I'll keep this for right now until I lock more. I know Shink's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. Those keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? Hey, I have a Shinx. I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. I can I can do that, though, can I? Hello, Toshi. What are those Shinx you show me? Here's my Shinx. I mean, it looks fun, to be fair, if you want to get it, hun. Oh my god. Look at that cuteness. It's gonna electrocute you. Have the yellow cross pattern on them. Kind of like a star. I'd say they look more like swords, to be honest. can't tell you what I really this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain, and the bone's a thought. Yeah, you're right. This game is dark. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get that bone now. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Three potions. Okay, so let me take a look at the Pokedex again real quick. Is it not? Oh, it's down. Oh, okay, so this is the research task. I gotta catch 15 Togepi. 25 Shinx. 25 Starlies. Okay. I'll figure it out. Heading outside the bridge, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of your ours, there is a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Complete the Pokedex. Different number and browser research tags. Put them on to open your Pokedex. Check kinds of research tags for people registered. Customer Pokemon Fields, your bonus. Check 
Okay, so when I'm focusing, I can also check real quick by pressing down. Got it. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species to carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Kumar. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. If... Dodge? Do I look like a madman that would get down on the floor for you? Here, watch closely and I remember what I do so you can do it later. Ooh, is she gonna dodge? Oh! Whoa! That's pretty cool. <laughs> That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attack. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. Alright, I can die in this game. <laughs> the security cord had to collect me when I got the business end of some chink's thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on. on and I'll teach you plenty. So when you mean like catch all the Pokemon, do you mean like catch like any like any Pokemon, even if I already have it? Ooh, ooh, very fancy. Look at me dodge, guys. This is pretty cool. Anyway, let's see. I need probably need to train with this big doof. All right. Okay, this is not faster than running, sadly. <laughs> Now, let me show you some survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the, the left trigger, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tags you have for that Pokemon. Ooh. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. Well, yeah, I kind of got that, but like... I kind of cons. Oh, well, I guess they gave me. I have like sixty-ish Pokeballs, so I guess I shouldn't be concerned. But and when it's time to battle the Pokemon, remember the captain switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. I'm just catching Bidoof now. All right. What? Hasn't noticed me yet, has it? Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and catch it then. Alright, <laughs> that's fun. Spoiled Apricorn. Ooh, another Bidoof. No, don't look at me, don't look at me. Look at me. It's menacing me with its eyesight. It knows that I am here. Did I- did I miss? Okay. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it... <laughs> okay. So where's the other Bidoof? <laughs> I thought it was automatic. I didn't even think I changed it too much. Well. I done failed. This is more somewhere. No, I don't think there's more. Ooh, Starlies. I should catch that. Let me focus on that one. Really? <laughs> 
I have to hold it. Okay, so yeah, I have to hold it then. That's why I was missing. Where's the last one? Okay, okay, I'm going under this right now. It's a cat. She'll catch it. Are you serious? Fuck, I thought it was hiding. Fuck. Go, Bidoof! You know, roll out? Yo, that's super effective, isn't it? Or, no, never mind. It's critical. Oh, a bit doof. Alright, now we can probably catch it. I only have 11? I thought I had more than that. Did he give me like 50 at the start? What? Yes, my trusty Bidoof caught a Shinx for me. But although, I'm pretty sure I hit. Oh, hey, it's a thing. How do they catch me even though I'm in the grass? I don't really understand that. I guess it just they can like see me better then. Ooh, okay, I could probably catch it now. Looking around. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll just keep catching them then. <laughs> okay, so they leveled up, right? So then, how do I check my Pokemon again? Oh, okay. Uh, change moves, I guess. You know, okay. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It knows Gust. Bidoof. Oh, I have two Bidoofs, that's why. <laughs> I should probably change it to a Pokemon I don't already have. Uh, I can grab it, right? Where do I place you? Huh? Is it what? <laughs> okay, now that's for the phone. How do I? Oh, okay, I guess. Oh, well, I'll keep this Starly this chinx because it's my chinx now but how do i okay i guess i think i see something what is that it's starly Okay, so I have to catch them without being spotted. New forms I've obtained. There's different forms, and I have to evolve. Now with the book. Ooh, I like that sound animation. Let's go.
Pa, 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 pa. It almost bothered me. Ah, oh, the rule. Oh man, I could. God damn it. No, don't. Get back here. Oh, okay. Oh, a worm pool. Ah, uh, the casual one opening spotted too, but it's a new Pokemon, right? Alright, call the worm pool, guys. They have a new move. Okay, well, how do I add it to the party, though? Ready, how do I add Pokemon to my party, man? <laughs> uh, Cause I don't think it's in the menu up here. Unless I can only change them in the town. I feel like I can only change them in the town then. Oh, well. I'll level up some more Bidoofs. These things. They're gonna be mine. The one does a special thing. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess I could battle them. Yeah, I could level them up. But she swings. Ooh. It just beamed at me. Wait, what? You coward! <laughs> Let's get more of these things. Damn it. <laughs> okay. We have to catch that one, right? It just takes quite a bit to get used to it. Oh, what is that? Oh wait, isn't stomach stuff something I need? There's like a lot of it. Here though. Uh, oh, it's a yo. It saw me. Why did it turn around? Oh, I caught a ponytail. Let's go. There's another one, but I don't have any Pokeballs. I gotta go make more. Come on, come on. Oh, so that's how I'm able to... Okay. Probably, I wish I could have seen him then before I came over here. Might as well level up a bit. Sadly, they keep running away, so I guess they're not the ones to fight too well. Oh, 
Oh, I see one in the distance up there. I'm gonna go get that real quick. Oh, never mind. Let's do that. Oh, more of them up here. These guys like to fight, so I'll fight these guys. Yes, Bidoof. Oh no, it knows what to attack. He's okay, he's okay. He's gonna die. Yay! Oh, wait, am I fighting another one? Oh, they both joined the fight, huh? Oh, it's on someone with a pseudo. Spold Apricorn. And then we'll throw that one there too. Okay. So how do I check their oh, okay, it shows down there. I see. Okay. I, I still kind of like this. It reminds me a lot like... It's just kind of cool seeing like being able to move around and stuff. Thundershock. Alright, you're fine. You can take that. But I'm paralyzed. Oh no. Oh no! Kill it with fire. It doesn't deserve to live anymore. Okay, so I have cherry berries, so why don't we heal him up with that? Wait, what? Uh... Oh, they can raise effort values? You know what? Send the quail, what is higher? Your spatial attack, right? Has to be your special attack. Actually, you got pretty good attack, too. But I think I'll just get you a special attack, mate. Uh, yeah, let's go special attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll do both. I'm not sure which Pokemon are here, but, like... Hmm. I guess I can heal one of them, too. Although, 60 is quite a bit. But I do have Starly too, so I can do that. What is... Oh, uh, it's just... Can I lob it from here? Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, they, that levels them up too. There's so many Pokemon down there. I don't want to go explore it, but... I also want to keep going. <laughs> more Skarmory's, but I guess I can fight them with my own Skarmory. It's gonna fly away though, isn't it? Ooh! Ooh, it actually, it actually wanted to fight me, let's go. Hopefully there's no fall damage in this game. 
No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go make more Pokeballs, guys. Let's craft Pokeballs. Can I just make the max amount? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to that place where I saw a bunch of ponitas. I guess we can catch more Lux Rays, can't we? They saw me. Yep. Oh, he knows Thundershock. That means he's good against the birds. Yeah, this cash is. Oh, there is fall damage? That kind of sucks, man. <laughs> so you said I can't just jump off anything I want. I actually have to figure out, like, the best way to go down. Alright, what would be the best Pokemon to use? I guess it would be Shinx, because then... Yeah, I don't really have much Pokemon. Fight me! Yay! Medicinal leak? What does that do? Cutting mission of clowns, which found Crown across Wayfarer's friend. Okay. Ooh, I see one. Oh no, that's just a stone. So can I? Is that an Eevee? Yo. Okay. How am I doing this? Let's throw. Let's throw an orange berry at it. We caught an Eevee, boys. Here we go. Oh. Well, thanks for telling me it's rare after I just tried cutting and catching it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How lucky am I to cat to get to find an Eevee? Just okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for telling me, Brady. That was really nice of you. I don't like the way you're looking at me, boy. You're gonna die. Or, okay, I guess not. Oh man, that Bidoof is ready to fight me. Ooh, I paralyzed the Bidoof. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just catch it. Uh, which is a Starly I like? 
this one. I guess we can try leveling it up a bit more too. Just another Ponita. Next to the Bidoof. Okay, but I need the Ponita to come closer though. Eh, whatever. Are you guys gonna go to it? How do I chain? Okay, you. Number caught, number of heavy specimens you caught, number of defeated times you defeated. With water type moves, how many you it use ember, times you're giving it food. Just gonna catch it. It didn't even notice me. Oh, can I catch a water type? Do water types run? What is that? Oh, that's no, probably a rock. Bop, 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 bop. Whoa! What is that? Why is it her eyes red? Is it evil? Free shiny pony top. Dude! What is that? <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if I can catch it. Uh, let's save first just in case though I die. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We need to be very careful about this. Let's try throwing this at it first. It's supposed to stun, so. I missed. What the hell is that thing, dude? I know it's a rapidash, but why is its eyes red? It's not supposed to be red, is it? Oh, Jesus! What? You have to get it. So get him to attack you. I have to attack it? Can't I just catch it like this? Why? Oh. Get it to attack you. But I don't. Make your appearance clear. Then you can throw a barrier. No, Hold up, I need to scan it. I want to see what I need to see what level it is. Dude, get back in the glass. I need to scan it, dude. Where do I where do I see it's? How do I check what level? Oh, it's hard, dude. I don't think I can catch it. I mean, it's it says it's hard. I don't. I can't tell its level though. Berries, Don't try it? Are you sure? What if I want to, like, is it possible for me to catch it? Because I, I'm guessing the eyes being red means, like, it's higher level. And right now, it's like, it's, my hair is blending into the thing. Plus, I'm hearing, like, boss music, so I don't know if I should. Throw the <laughs> wow. I don't think it cares about the berry. That's not. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I can't catch it with the book of all. I don't think. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna. Just gonna walk away. It will kill my Pokemon. Like, is there no way for me to cheese it where I can just catch it without it seeing me? Alright then. Yeah, I've caught like a lot of doofs. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Good boy, good boy. Don't look at me. 
Can look at me? No, 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 it hasn't noticed me yet. I'm too good for it. He hasn't spotted me yet. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm about to do what's called a big brain play. Crap. Oh, oh, oh. You thought? My berry. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I saw Bidoof around here, right? Catch something else. That's not Bidoof. But I had to catch like a certain amount of Bidoof. Oh, a Wurmple. What's up, Swift Kill 2K? How you doing? Don't mind me just playing this game right now. It's really fun. Ah, uh, Brady says I have to go to like a town. I have to go to the town to do it because I can't do it out in the open right now. So I'm right now I'm just collecting stuff, catching as many Bidoofs as I can to fill out the Pokedex. Uh, find a shiny well, I don't know how to do that, but I just gotta catch a few more. Look at me. Oh, I still haven't came across one in the wild yet. How how would your battles? Fight Cynthia. Yeah, you fought Cynthia's ancestor. Oh. The... Yo, is that a Charmander? Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> one of them spotted me. Okay, okay, I need to save, I need to save. <laughs> you must go catch that Chimchar. Oh, it's Timchar? Yeah. Okay, okay. And then we can name it Monkey. <sighs> okay, they haven't spotted me yet. Oh no, wait, that's a... Uh... We'll put it out in the open. That is, um, what's it called? That berry has. That is, um... Oh, it's a weasel! Yes, don't notice anything. That's level two. That's the it's fine. We're gonna catch all of them. Anyway, I'll probably check out the weasel. Uh, number... Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's like a rare drop, according to Brady. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I gotta defeat them with electric time moves. I can do that easily. Let's go. And I'll have to do it 10 times. Oh, look, there's another one over there. Let's cross this river. I can't cross this river, can I? No, 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 no. Don't drown. Yeah, you can die in this game, apparently. Okay, you can't swim. <laughs> well, had a lapis. Oh yeah, dude, no worries. Like, I just like helping out. So, yeah, I'm glad you. Thanks for the follow, by the way, too. Try to snipe it. Snipe, snipe. I can't. I don't think I can throw it all away from here. Can I? What if it kills my Pokemon? Look, there's a a big one over there. Yeah, I can't snipe it. <laughs> There's no way I can make that throw. Uh -huh. Let's see what else we can get. More Wurmples? Wormple. What are its objectives that I had to do? Uh, I have to fight it. I know that. Number caught. Caught without being spotted. I had to get 10 of them at least. You should have got a Rowlet. Where's a Growlithe at? A Rowlet. A starter. Rowlet's like better than, um... Okay. Beautiful. Oh. Cool. 
I got more Africorns. What? Oh, that is a Pokemon for a second. Baby Choke? That's new. Brady, why didn't you tell me I couldn't swim, bro? <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Throw berry. Shit. I have to fight him now. Oh shit, cause no! That's not good. I have to switch out. <laughs> ah Starly. It's gonna have to be Starly. Everything else is low. Oh, so I have to go farther in the story to get me able to swim to the other weasels. Ooh, and those aerial ways. Strong type? Agile type? What does that mean? Try aerial ways. Well! That's not what's supposed to happen. I guess I have to restart this. It's a good thing I saved. <laughs> Big ring plays right here. Oh, yo, dude, sweat. Thank you. I don't know if I played the animation because I don't really have anything to like show, or at least to listen to. I'm sorry about that. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think I honestly like this game a lot right now. This isn't cheating, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. I, was, I thought it wasn't going to actually, like, let me. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I can probably make my way back now. But these Wurmples, though. Okay, I need to catch six more. I can do that. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay. I'm ready to kill you. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to face me. Hopefully the big bad rapid dash is gone. Over here. Is that a Pokemon? Oh. There you are. Okay, let's get away from you. We can make our way back now. Yeah, thanks, dude. I appreciate you coming in. I've said a ton. What is he doing here? I don't have to fight him, do I? Where do you swear to God? I have to fight him and I die. I'll blame it on you. <laughs> oh, come on. Level 10 or below will obey. Wait, what if... They're past level 10. Will they stop obeying me or something? You're feeling we're not. Have a rest in a tent on one of our base camps. I thought you were scared to be out surveying. That is a fine option. 
Ba, 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 ba. Excuse me, guys. I just got a text. Is Mudkip in this game? Anybody know? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, they all happen through a cutscene? Okay. Um, let's get this real quick. That's a rock. Okay. Alright, I guess I can keep going now. Oh, shoot. Damn it. I hate that, like, I can't just press it quick. Okay, I think I'm high enough. I want to get them to the point where, like, they disobey me. What do you have to tell me? Sparking rocks for you. You'll find too much stone sign. You need to craft Pokeballs. Okay. Another Weasel? Um, don't know the Reduce. Yeah, they don't need to see me. Okay, let's head up there now. For did you guys ever watching, did the animation show up? Like, did it work properly of the thing? Whoever was watching, when I got a new follower. Okay. I swear that Star League was not there before. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, what's up, Swift? I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. Cool, let's go catch a Starly boys. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. So, yeah, I gotta catch quite a few without getting caught, huh? Whatever. Oh, I just realized I need to kill it with lightning. Yeah, I don't want to kill them. Okay, that's cool. Oh, King K. Rule, thanks for the follow, man. I think I might heal him if I do have to like keep killing them with like if one of the things is killing them with lightning. Gift dust. Um Oh no never mind, there is no lightning thing, okay. Alright, we can keep going then. So where's the tent they talk about? Oh, I see that. Copy doof. Right, let's go back up there. Look at my map. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, I can teleport there? That's cool. So do I just... Oh, okay. Uh, 
takes a little while, I guess. I have storage. Oh, just for items, okay. Alright. So what's over here? Guessing it just leads to the same ish area. What is this? Oh, I already caught that. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess everything's empty right now. It's kind of weird. Oh, weasel. Sketch. Don't look at me. I'm not doing anything to you. God damn it. Alright, this one I know I have to kill with lightning, so let's do just that. Yeah, I have to kill that with lightning, so that's fine. Is there quite a few more? Stardust. Okay, let's keep going. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Let's kill all the Weasels in the area. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves just like Shanks, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Oh, so cute. After a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time. You want to get the cover. Uh, okay. So I'm guessing blackout is just short turn for death. That's she's moving battle. That's right. Some death required battling. Go ahead. You take care of Weasel's research size and come talk to me. Okay, so I mean, there's not even anything to catch. So there's no point in like not fighting it then. Come on, dude, fight me. Oh, hello, good boy skills. What's up? How you doing? Oh, I know bite. Yeah. Ooh, should I catch you? I think I'm gonna catch you. Yeah. Sorry, Weasel. You're gonna be added to my collection. Did it give me. Did it just plant something? Ah, uh, that's funny. Yes. Gonna sit on. Oh, she. That's a Badoof. Still didn't see me. I'm too ninja.
Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I, I was trying to see if I could use like a Pokemon as a... As a distraction, but apparently I can't. Sadly. Oh, I was gonna grab berries. <laughs> Hey, our literary reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. I have a crafting kit now, guys. So that means I can craft Pokeballs without having to, like, you know, go back. One orange berry and one venison. I've been collecting those quite a bit, so. As long as you got an Apricorn and a Tumble Stone, you can make a Pokeball at any time. For the normal barrier and Mr. Elite, you can make a potion. Okay. There's so many materials here. How goes your research? The cover of your podcast will tell you if there are tasks you finish. I can report. 50. <laughs> Jesus. So where can I find a Togepi? <laughs> Bidoof. So I just have to go around killing a bunch of Bidoofs, don't I? <laughs> and evolve my Bidoof. Yeah. So let's go kill some Bidoofs. Alright. I don't want to fight you. Or I guess I do. What do you do? Well, I gotta defeat them too, either way, so. Yeah. Oh, my boy noise roll out. Well, that also doesn't help. Oh, I cancel my own Pokemon too? Wait, does that mean I can, like. that wants me to use moves so i can teach this one aqua jet and then i just spam aqua jet then all right let's just get over this so i can get better like the bigger pokemon in my party that ones i can actually like call mains so let's let this go back for right now Then we'll catch anything along the way, like if we need to kill more Bidoofs. Or if we find anything, come across anything cool. My team right now is a Cyndaquil, a couple of Bidoofs, a couple of Starlies. And I want to go back to ch change out my team so I can get the Eevee, the Weasel, because Weasel is one of my favorite Pokemons. Is there a stamina effect thing? Because, like. Alright, let's talk to Larrington. Oh, but it's in a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Akari's teachings. Excellent work, dear boy. It seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you receive money. Wow. Based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught, you will receive more money if you fulfill certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research task you completed thus far. No star member. Caught quite a few, actually. 34. Uh, first time. About 14. 4,000. Wow, that's quite a lot of money. Mm hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tax. First monthly level 10. That entry will be considered complete and you will have unlocked all the detailed information you had about that species. 
Okay. Um. Okay, so then, hold up. Research level nine, that means I need to research level one more, right? Complete. But then I still gotta finish the rest of those things, right? Okay. Uh, I still don't understand that quite a bit, but we'll figure it out. You made good progress on this research task, Kumar. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Okay, so you said there was a guy I talked to, right? So let's go find him then. Uh, general store, hairdresser, clothier, photography studio, hall, training grounds, craft work, farm. Yeah, Brady, so where is the dude? Is it the pastures? What do you do? How many Pokemon you catch? Collect them here to change up your party. Okay, so this. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Sure. You can have. The Starly. Give me my Bidoof. Or my, my Weasel. You can have this Bidoof. We'll trade it for. Eevee, right? And what does Pony to have? Level 3, level 3. Eh. Well, we have a bunch of Whirlpools to trade to that dude now. Okay. This is my current team for right now, man. Let's bring out the boy. Oh, So cute. Just look at it guys look at it it's so beautiful oh so cute oh i guess he'd be useful though Is, wouldn't he be psychic right but who would i trade it out for though i guess i could trade it out for bidoof Psychic and Fairy would be useful. Alright, yeah, we'll go for Bidoof. Sorry, Bidoof. Can I name them, actually? Name them? Uh, change name. Uh, what, what's a good nickname, guys, for uh, Cyndaquil? Oh, ooh, I know, I know, actually. We're gonna call him Suko. Why not? Um, I'm Junior? It's a girl, so... Oh, so... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, as is a usual tradition. Unless any of you guys have any more ideas, because I'm not really in the mood to think of names right now. No name? No flame? Eh. I kind of I like Suiko better, not gonna lie. Oh, I wish it was like a key to like just... Just, you know... Okay. Ooh, Eevee. What do we name Eevee, guys? 
Life preserver? No. <laughs> I don't even think that would fit. Alright, I can call him lifeguard, actually. Yeah, I think I'll change it to lifeguard. We'll call him Fluff. Yeah, I can change it to lifeguard. That's actually a pretty cool name. All right, the Shinx Transformer. Uh, no, I do not. Uh, what's a good cat name? I guess we'll name it Leroy. Why not? He could too. No. Why would I name it Pika 2? It's like, it's a whole complete different thing. Not Mime Jr. Uh. Anybody have a good name for a Mime Jr.? The Joker? Harley Quinn. I mean, it's a girl, isn't it? Pretty sure it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. What about Harley? I think Harley would be good, wouldn't it? I think that's how you spell it, right? Oh well. There we go. We've grown attached to our Pokemon now, guys. Let's go to the dude that wanted a Wurmple. Yes, we have many Wurmples. You will have the lowest level Wurmple I have. Not the level 5 one. You will have this level 2 Wurmple. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told the Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Oh, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautisha? Beautifred? Or Beauty? Not gonna lie, these are some pretty good names. Wait. What? I thought of a good name. What? I uh, can't select one? You can't. You can't well, no, you can't just be like, I'm gonna name it Trash. <laughs> trash Boat. Uh. I like Butisha actually. Butisha sounds nice. Uh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's no variants? <laughs> yeah, why'd you not get you know, De Deoxys? Or... How do I get Deoxys? Not, not Deoxys, uh. This is July. Why'd you not get this is July? Why? I don't think I've come across one yet, have I? No, you could have got it on a starter. Ugh. Why'd, why'd you choose, um. Cyndaquil? Because it was either Cyndaquil, the bird one, or the, uh, Oshawa. Why, why did you not get the bird one? Because you got that one. And? And I like my Pokemon better, and it's my game? What? Can I not pick my favorite Pokemon without you <laughs> saying something? He's gonna come hit me. <laughs> There's no gyms in this game, I don't think. Well, yeah, I mean, I want to... I'm pretty sure this is the only society that lives here. I doubt there's any gyms. Oh, she's gonna want the Starly, isn't she? Can't I just... Did I have completed it? Uh... Wow. Apparently. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you for letting me read this book, etc. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch Scarlet. Please, if you find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. I have quite a few Starlies, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see, level 2, level 4, level 2. I'm sure level 2 is not the first together. Yeah, should I give it a boy or a girl? Uh, I'm gonna give, you, give her a boy. Okay. I, I don't see the difference between the boy and girl. Well, apparently it has different markings according to her, so... 
those lovely red eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Touch it. <laughs> Wanna touch it? <laughs> oh, it cost you five gold. No! I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, I might let loose a move. Who outside of the survey corps or security corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? <laughs> all the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Wow. Ten Pokeballs, guys. Yes. Now, there was one dude here who wanted something, I'm pretty sure. A photo last of my time. Let's see. What do you want? You wanted something, right? Since I've lost them, really. I just don't think humans are ready to settle here yet. Oh, well, I thought you wanted to see Badoof. Let's look at the photo shoot. We might take a picture with. Uh, your avatar, so you can enjoy taking photos together with your Pokemon. Ever consider preserving a lovely memory with your Pokemon as a photographer? Come on in and give it a try. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought I was gonna just load in. Oh, that's a pretty big place, guys. I'm in the business of photography folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? Wait, yes, this should be like a thumbnail. What? This should be like a thumbnail. Do, can I turn around or something? <laughs> like... Ah, I don't think I like this. One arm out. Oh, actually, that looks pretty cool. Arms open high. I always love the blank expression on her face. There's more confident pose. Thumbs up. <laughs> At the ready. I don't think you can. Ooh, yes, this one, this one. Oh, you can't change faces. There's neutral, delighted, smiling, surprised, troubled. Wait, wait, do a surprise one? Can you do the purple one? Ah, uh, hold up. I want to look through all of them. Angry. Oh, they stack. Oh, no, never mind. Vacant, thinking. I think that's sleepy. <laughs> we'll do what? Angry? No, angry. Angry is weird. Uh, neutral. Okay, I think we're doing serious. Yes. Do I? How do I bring out the Pokemon? What are you doing? Don't touch that. Uh, did I just... Ask the person over there. What would you like to do? Oh, prepare a Pokemon, okay. Let's do my turn. Aw, <laughs> oh, <it's> so cute! <laughs> what would you like to do? Change the screen? The red screen. Oh. Wait, do green screen. There's no green screen. Oh. oh, there's a light green screen. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Wait, there's lens filters. Nostalgic filter? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> like how the, the... It's just like... Okay. Um... Change expression. We're doing serious, right? Yeah, okay. Direct your Pokemon. Look fierce. <laughs> Look happy. Aw. Go to sleep. Why is he so cute? I'm dizzy. <laughs> Pretend to fate. <laughs> it's just whoop, <laughs> fell on the floor. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess look fierce. Okay. Do I have a capture button on? Yeah, I do. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. It's just like plop. <laughs> okay. We'll go keep this going and then. Did anybody else want a piece of me? How do you check on requests again? That's a crafting station. What do you want? The Galaxy team made up of several cores. Let's see, there's a security, construction, and agricultural cores, and a few other besides. Oh, okay, you're just the information person. What is this? Your Pokemon is all well and good. Just don't throw away your life, kid. Wow. Words to live by. So, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry guys. I just I wanna see what everything here does. Can I fall down here? No, okay, no, no. I can't. Thank God. Uh, go down here instead. Ah, medicinal harvest. Sure. My crops are in good hands, guys. You know we have people back in Kanto who are also... Oh, Kanto! So that was still a thing. They knew what they were doing in battles, too. Ah, uh, anything special around here? Oh, you want something, huh? A big weasel. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Can Pokemon the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sizes one side up side by side. Is there really a weasel bigger than mine? I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. I mean, I have a weasel. <laughs> oh, you want to take my weasel? Huh. Oh, they don't like each other. Okay. No, let's move on, guys. Actually, let's throw out my Eevee. And ignore him. Man, I've already been through here before, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything left over here, is there? But we gotta level up this boy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else worth my time here. Let's go.
If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. What do I show her? Oh, okay. Hmm, you may have made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Woo! You can now use Heavy Bolts. Put them up to level 20 will also be your order's library about. The wards you can offer for your server reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Heavy Bolts. We're crafting heavy balls from scratch. Requires material. One up recording, one black tumbo stone. I don't think I have any of that. Revives. A baby choke and two medicinal fleets. The stranger, you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people will maybe be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Yay! Mission is completed! What are we doing now, boys? For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Or I could keep grinding, right? Oh, I don't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> so, Kuma, my boy! I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still... We'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from Beauregard? To Beauregard? The people of Jubilee Life aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the survey core gets called to help. Indeed so! Some people will ask for you to, for help when you talk with them, while others' requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, Weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that. I was thinking maybe Kumar could handle it for me because I don't want to do it. I was thought it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... Oh, I see. Ah, yes. The request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. There's clans? The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Huzu since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. There's much we... Uh, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. So, so far, I'm liking this game quite a bit. It's really fun. The next day... Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Wait, now? <laughs> Come on, please. I need your help. I mean, as your superior, I order you to help me. <laughs> okay, I, I was going to keep repeating. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. But... We need to level up our weasel. So let's go do just that. Plus, if I should even learn back with it. Oh, I have to go over there. Bro, I'm mad. Can't believe you're making me go over there. You wanna know what a Starly looks like? Didn't we just did that? How do I check my... Uh... Lost and found. Uh... 
Uh, not sure to pick it up. The satchel retrieve will be returned to its owner. You can receive any replies. Okay, so there's satchel. Cool. So be on the lookout for satchels then. First, you go to the training grounds to train up a weasel. I thought I should pick my strongest Pokemon in case it just throws me into a battle. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for coming. I knew you're busy. Or oh, I knew you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is. You see, you've got a partner of my own. Oh, I've got a part of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? <laughs> yes, here. This is my partner, Pikachu. Pika Pika. When we were attacked by those Shinks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell him. Because he doesn't respect you. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Ooh, it just, it just cursed at you. When I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we needed to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. The Serpent Corps Akari challenge you to battle. Then down Pikachu! Sinatsuko! Underway. And already went to paralyze me. How fun. Roll out should be really good, right? Yeah. Thunder shot. How about half damage? It is level 9, so I guess. Alright, Pikachu has been defeated. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Let's go, Weasel! Level 5, boy! Have you learned Aqua Jet yet? Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Yes, you had two turns to bond. I hope that was enough. Aw, that Pikachu. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika! Guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Oh, there's a chart. Wow. Types. Hopefully, it shows me. I'm not very good at remembering. Uh, I'm guessing the circle means I'm super effective. Triangle probably means neutral. X means not a good idea. I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm aware of the what the, the element triangle. So you're the one that new recruit everyone's talking about. Oh, it's a girl. The name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. Oh, she'll see the police. I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the Watt's hand, you can choose to deliver a move in a strong style. The move will do more damage, but afterward it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong time moves, agile time moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Okay, so that's what that does. Master move and unlock his extra style on the level. Oh. Race it uses more PP than usual. Oh, okay, they both use more PP than usual. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me. Can you teach my Weasel Aqua Jet? 
Sisu's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember? I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I want to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Sisu if you'd like. Hope you don't charge me. Teach me your ways. You're turning around, Pokemon Master Moves. Hello there. I want new moves. Tutor Lifeguard. Give me Swift. <laughs> oh, it also knows. It can also know Rest. Yeah, Swift is really good. Yay! What can Suka learn? Oh. Wait, Suka can learn Aerial Ways? The hell? <laughs> I didn't know that. Rest, Calm Line. Calm Line is pretty good, but that's not something I probably want. I'm gonna swing. And that's Rest. I'd rather have a Lurk Gust. Or, I mean. Oh, this one knows quite a bit. Baby Doll Eyes? Ice Fang, okay. That's actually pretty useful. Thunder Fang and Fire Fang. Ooh, Thunder Fang would probably stab, wouldn't it? 65. Oh, they're not 65, though. Yeah, I guess it's pretty good. I'll think about that later. Fluff. What can Fluff do? Not much. Okay. We'll do that for now. And I'm guessing we're not going to have a choice, so... Let's go see what we can catch, guys. Break break? I didn't get an option for break break. I think outside the village are we. Stay safe out there, kid. So can I just, like, choose to go somewhere else? Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. You can't surprise a ninja. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrap technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it. Making the- Oh, so that's probably what that animation was. Hit a one Pokemon, blah blah blah. Oh, it raises the catch rate, okay. For a super now, working to create that Pokedex is as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hizu. You should know I'm already looking forward to that day you accomplish that. It'll be soon, buddy. I promise you that. You got a mushroom recipe. Ooh, you're that boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need you to tell you about this great kick lure recipe I invented. I call it the Mushroom Kick. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe. And I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making any mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go to. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. Once bringing mushrooms all you need, I'll be waiting. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Alright, we need to kill more Reduce, right? Uh. Yeah, I just gotta defeat them mostly. Perfect training. Oh, this does quite a. Uh, I can take it.
Capricorn and Orion Berry. Oh, is that a mushroom? Oh, it's Capricorn. Oh, are they okay. Uh, probably not a smart idea. Oh no, that's a starry. Gotta catch a few than that. Let's try to Orion Berry for it to ease somewhere. Crown type moves. I'm just using seeing it use bite. Does it mind no bite? We just spam bite, right? And it's OP enough that like it won't really get bothered by it. Oh yeah, so mine does count. I can just spam my own bite. I guess I'll catch this one too. Okay. Uh. Or just kill it. Yeah, I'll just kill him. You know, I gotta get the defeated stuff too. Explode Africa. number defeated yeah I, I mean I just have to kill 15 of them and then I can start catching them again so she's just looking around Good job, Shinx. Seven out of ten. Let's go get some more. There's another one. I guess if they're red, I'll try catching them. Pokemon. Well, because I still need to catch quite a few. It's only some of them, not all. But isn't there like, I bet I had there has to be something for competing all of them, isn't there? At the very least, like the one defeating them should be the easiest one, one of the easier ones to get. On there either. Yeah, we can keep exploring for a bit. Rip. Oh, it doesn't care. I also need to level them up, so. Might as well. Oh, that one's sleeping, actually. <laughs> oh, 
fine. We can just. Oh, it's level four too. Why is he doing so much damage? What? <laughs> I'm like seven levels above it. <laughs> Bro. Alright, let's go. I guess I don't think I'm gonna come across it anymore to be honest, but just in case. I still gotta defeat 15 of them. So, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> you look so surprised, dude. Ooh, you do have a budget. Okay, so I can start that off. Defeated two Bidoofs. What do I need for a weasel? Number of large specimens, number defeated, number to be defeated. Electric type moves. Uh, I'll try giving a potion to him just to have him use electric type moves. Give me something else that heals. Oh, I, I can use it to restore the health. I'm guessing berries are probably easier to use in potions, so yeah. Don't want to catch it. I don't think so. Yeah, I had to defeat them with electric type moves. There's so many Bidoofs to kill. Let's go. Oh, that's it runs away. Disappointing. Wait, is that one's uh that one's sparkling for some reason? I'm shutting now. Let's go. Yeah, I'll probably stick close to the river so I can kill more weasels. Um. Wait, what? Not to the doof. Yeah, I'll just keep using Aqua Janta. It goes away. Three four. Oh, it's another one. It's running away from me, isn't it? Can I catch it now? Oh, 
Oh, what a cute thing. Now go kill this Badoo. He deserves it. Ba, 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 ba. Plus, I want to hopefully level up this Badoo so I can take out Rapidash. Or the, the one with red eyes, hopefully. I have no idea how far up it is. Come on, we're ready for you. Another one joined. It's fine. We'll one shot both of you. Fear the ultimate cat. Oh, it's getting evening. It's kind of cool. There is a stamina thing. More baby chokes. being spotted. I need to catch a few more then. Oh, and I hope, I hope that doesn't count. No. Come on, Wampo. You know you like it. Dude! The fuck? Try this again with this one. So I don't have to catch it too well. You better not get out of it, I swear. Okay. like once it gets nighttime does anything change oh another one probably kill it with like right now probably it comes closer Okay, I could just give it food and just, I don't have to. Okay, that uh, makes it easier. Eat it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so it could be different Pokemon. Fuck, of course I got burned. God damn. I better not kill me. Yeah, I like I'd kill it, please. He doesn't deserve to live. I guess I can sleep it off. There's another one up there, though. Yeah, uh, except I kind of need him. Yeah, I'll give him a berry. Then. I'll give him a potion. He actually deserves it. <laughs> Just That's cure. Fire burns. Cure its breath. Oh, okay, the burn doesn't last that long then. Go sneak up to these guys. Is that a drift balloon? He saw me. Hide, hide. I ran away, didn't I? Oh, shit! What do we use to kill this thing? Alright, I guess we have to. <laughs> Hopefully the, the other one doesn't get involved. Wait, is it not ghost? Oh, Jesus. I think it would be better, right? Yeah. We can put it to sleep. Yeah, let's go. What is Drift Bloom, guys? It doesn't matter, I guess we'll kill it either way. You better not fall asleep! God damn it. <laughs> so go kill that thing. No mercy. So how is it looking around if it's sleeping? Yeah, I guess so. Let's try that. Alright, so it's ghost, right? I guess I could use... Yeah, we'll use number it then. I guess, I guess it's ghost, so I could probably use bite. And it's gone. Oh no, there it is, okay. Gotta beat it. Don't look at me. Hey, come back. Look into my eyes as you die. Oh, there's the big one. Save just in case I die. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't like that.
So what are you? Oh shit! It can reach me. That's not good. Ah, yeah. Let's not. Let's not stick around with this thing. I don't want to fight it. Mm. It's too scary. <laughs> Catch them at all. Let's get out of here. Let's continue the story. That's not good. Oh, it's going pretty good. I still too scared to fight that rapid dash that's with red eyes. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> pretty sure there's a part of the game where you have to learn how to catch those guys. It's alright, I got Bidoof to kill. How much Bidoof do you have to kill for, um... Well, I have to, I have to like, see lifeguard use Aqua Jet a lot of times. I don't really need to cast him that much, to be honest. So what are the new spawns? Uh, night, apparently, but... Yeah. Yeah, I saw a drift blue. Yeah, it, it, it spotted me and tried to, like, hit me with something, but I dodged it. No, I don't know. I don't even, they don't even care. Yeah, I am. Uh, I wonder if I've done enough yet, yeah, Aqua Jets. Let's check the Pokedex real quick. Yeah, I've, I've seen it used it enough, okay. Now I just need to like give it enough to evolve it. How do you evolve it? Uh, I think... I'm not sure. Does it have like a new form or something? I'm not sure. I, I think it does, considering like it was like form number of forms seen. But he's barely level 9 still though. What's the rock do? What rock? Yeah, you're in. So who do I talk to? <gasps> Boy, you. Hmm, that marvelous rich tone. How is it produced? I must know. What do you want? Um, hello. Didn't see you there. Wait, you're just from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. What? What is a Cricketot? Wait, wait. Wait, I want to see. I want to see what Pokemon that is. I don't know how you want me to show you, but... 
How do you spell it? Cricket tot? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you can figure it out. No, no, no. It talks to a lady again. Oh, I'm good. Alright, you want mushroom soup. No lady, please. Oh, my God. There. You see it? Where am I supposed to go now? Hold up. How do I change things, guys? Oh, one of those. One of what? These. What is that? It's a Pokemon from Generation 9. It evolves into this. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I know. Like, every pro player uses it. I, I don't see how. It must be good then. Yeah, Krikatoon. Oh no, I think they're asking for it. Oh. Okay, I can wait. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go complete the thing that prehistoric Dawn wanted us to do. So how do you get to the next camp? I don't think there's any other towns. I think it's like Pokemon Snap where like you just do whatever and then you go back to the same place. Cool. So where am I supposed to go? How do I? Pretty sure you go all the way over there. I think it's my answer. Uh, so where's the next area at the grocery store? Okay, but how do I change my objectives again? I'm sure you're gonna find that out soon, so I'm gonna leave. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, no. I had aggression. Yeah, let's go across this bridge. I think this is where she wants me to go. When sharp Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge, I cannot you pass unless you're first. Oh, well, you're rank. You should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Cool. Over there! Over here! My, this is Kumar. My, my. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. Oh, I like her design. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me My. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hishu. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Of course I do. That's good to hear. That security course of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles on my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Yeah, I don't know how to change my voice too well, dude. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta see this like like at the very front action Do you feel scared yet oh oh Suko burn him yes make him feel scared oh that's not good though it's fine 
We shall strong style quick attack. Oh, actually quite a bit. Oh. Dang. Yep. There's my first faint of the game. Let's go light guard. Sex has been defeated, boys. Ooh, he mastered Aqua Jet. Aww. You really aren't one of the usual gags. Hey, I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me just, it hurts my voice too much. Well fought, Munchlax. I need food. I took care of the Pokemon to battle for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Five baby chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories to up to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track kites. An alpha Pokemon? It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? Oh, my phone is ringing. The thing you have is showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that the one those Galaxy Team Adventures I keep hearing about? I certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. It seems you're quite the asset of this Survey Corps' new one. Do you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Like the region? Oh, I didn't mean to click that, but. So you've to told the true story. The true story is this. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the bare universe using its power over time's flow. And this land of Hisu was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisu region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole our way from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisu with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like yourself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. Okay, but I'm also gonna collect materials, please. Wait, what is that? Cricket tot. Hmm. All right, there's supposed to be new Pokemon here, aren't there? Just above its head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, is that? 
It's a Graveler, dude. Or a Geodude, right? Oh, it's a Starly. Okay, we'll give it a berry. Get it away, oh, looking away from us. I keep hitting their heads. Okay, it's faster than me. Oh, they're level late this time. Wow. There should be more weasels here, right? Ah, uh, did you guys hear that? sound is but it sounds scary ball of mud I guess we go investigate it Oh my god, that thing is huge! Oh, it's... it's a thing. Can I just like... No, okay. I guess I can try fighting it. It's level, I'm level 13, so... Why did it do that? What does a mud ball do? Yeah, no, 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 I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, hell no, hell no, hell no. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm fighting that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Still a pee. What do we have to be level 31, dude? Like, why? Oh, is that a satchel? Oh, it's just wood. What does wood do? See my prey.
Oh, didn't the lady want to like some Kakarot stuff? There's another one over there. Die, or I swear to God, I will fight you. Unless you run away. Rip. What is that? What did I just. I don't know if it's fine. I don't care about that. Meh. Let's go. More drifting shot or one of these. These flowers. Flagworth. Another weasel. Oh, this one should be stronger though. Wait, strong. Oh, rip Leroy. Oh, that's so cute. I guess we we'll catch it. It's low enough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, is there anything else here that's special? We said the other weasel. Run through real quick. That now it's the same. No, he spotted me though. Yo, what is that?
Oh fuck, it's a it's a legendary thing. Yeah, okay. Let's travel, fast travel over to it. Make our way back. There's more drift room now though. Call the first drift bloom, guys. Yeah, I don't want to fight you, sorry. That thing. I'll probably end it soon after that. Helping the guy out. I'm after some cherry berries, you know them, the shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around right? here. You can throw a berry near wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Wow. Amazing. Would have never thought of that. Who's the one that has my attention? That one? Yeah. You want to work, right? No, you're not. Like, on the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past. Oh, that's what that meant. I should have read. I know Weasel will probably take it out better.
Dear C. That's too bad. Please don't come closer to me. Walk time to lose time. He's gonna use guys under 400 retained. Other in daylight hours. Alright guys, I'm probably gonna like stop streaming soon. But I'll probably play more tomorrow. Although hold up, I need to check the Pokedex real quick. What are they weak to? Poison and flying. Mm. There's a lot of them here. Oh, I'm sleeping. Uh. What saw me? Oh. Let's try using guys with a strong style. Wow, that actually quite a bit. Oh, I use it. Oh, let's go, Pico! Yeah, something about that up there doesn't look right. Place in my satchel? What? I guess I can get rid of some of the crit dust, right? Wait, what is Pico? It can evolve? Guys, my first evolution? Let's go. Whoa. It's going super soon! Wow. Pico, so proud of you. Alright. What do I have 102 of? Oh, my upper Weasel, you need a tech. You will give you a special attack. Okay. Wait, where the hell am I going? I'm just going up here, huh? I think that's over here. Oh my dear, dudes. What are type moves? Let's go, Brizo! Whoa, what is that? It's 
probably the red-eyed one, isn't it? But yeah, it probably is. That's that, bro. Alright, yeah, let's go take out this. What do you want to call it? Pokemon in the moment. The one I have to, like, battle with at the moment. What the hell? What is that? I think I need to catch one so far. Okay, so the ones that are bouncing, it's crap. I got it. Just take a look at our Pokemon real quick. Oh, Lyra can evolve. Yeah, I just think it's so cool, like how they did this. I don't know. Oh, it knows Air Slash. That's a pretty good move. Leroy, do you know moves? Thunderfang. Wait, why is Swift not something I have? Okay. So this is a pretty good move, isn't it? Okay. 
Alright, let's finish this off mission. We'll call it for a night. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? Ooh, he ran all the way here. Woo! Thank goodness, I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an Alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Doo -doo -doo. Woo! That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. Oh god. <laughs> That's why you're here, Kumar, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll show your Pokemon are ready for battle. Wait, if you're just gonna heal, why did I bother? <laughs> uh, I didn't heal though, but upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all over as oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big dope. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that beyond any mistaken. Be careful, Kumar. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. You must make sure your Pokemon has some strong moves at their disposal. Okay. Alpha Pokemon. Alright, so now there's many moves that are rare for the species that appear to be very difficult to catch. Cool. I don't want to face these. There's always Weasel. Life guard. Yeah. Everybody check the action order of all the Pokemon. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, Ember would probably work better. Which I mean, I thought water would do good, but I guess not. Oh, well, Suko. Probably should have powered up. Ugh. I'm sorry, Zuko. Pico will avenge you. I was supposed to kill it, right? Or was I supposed to catch it? What in the world? Yo, that thing looks majestic. Oh, okay. It's a great word to hear. He looks upon you with kindness, Kuma. the great reader has taken a liking to you that is fortunate he's an esteemed pokemon that can dash across the expenses of his while bearing a human on his back a human he deems worthy at least he is a blessing to us all 
Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon on Alola. Alola's a thing. At this point in time. Professor Levinton. Kum. Oh, wait. It's not. Never mind. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Kumar carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I knew this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander, but still, is it truly time for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisu region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The Great Wordier has taken a leg into Kumar as well. This is a good sign. Yo, my thanks for what you did earlier. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'm going to show my appreciation with the proper reward as soon as I can. Yay. I shall be rewarded. If you want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. Let's start to completing the Pokedex. Of course. Alright, I'm most likely gonna end it here, guys. Most because my boy's just like tired. The Heights Camp. From now on, when you set off from the village, you're gonna have to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help to in our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. Let's say we all head back to the Wallflower. No, oh, I didn't. Okay. I can rank up, guys. Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the great news? I can't. I'm sorry. Like, my voice just literally turrets right now. Ugh. The frenzy cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mulling some of our galaxy books. We went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all of the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is clearer that we were reportedly stuck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigates is in order, the survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Kumar here can handle things just fine. Ooh, that, that face. I don't think I like that face. Are you certain? I've heard clever so mighty, even alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fantasy, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order for this inflamed meal. The next day. Damn, she knocked on that door hard. <laughs> like, get up, fool. <laughs> you should hurry to her so she has to use you for super practice. Okay. Time to save, guys. Oof. Alright, guys. Time to raid out. Thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna finally make myself some food. But first, we'll figure out who to rate to. If you guys please would, please stay in the stream for a bit longer. Move we'll some more for. Who's 
live non affiliate, right? The Coyote 13. Chinese Designs TV. Wretched Wings. Chameleon Plant. What is he straight? It's on from those W's on my answer. That is my main Discord, so. And the rules around zero. Swing and Cupid. Oh, I'll just do as mine ended. I guess you guys can watch your Dead Drummer Wing Cupid 3 by 6 Probably even a car game. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, see you guys later. Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching.